So it's time for our Horsham District report, uh, looking at the Canova Lior Cougars and also Eaton Ape Apsley Saints. And um, of course, so with the Cougars taking on uh, the boys from Japan at Rainbow Storm, Peter Weir's side, we have his comments on these games here for you today. They were playing footy at the showground and it was 24-8-152 to the showground presenters over the top of uh, Eden O'Bapsley, those Sainters. They just couldn't get competitive in this game at all and they lost 8-11-59. It is a massive scoreline. Yeah, it is. And uh, Nate Coding up forward for um, Natty Muck kicked 12 goals and he's just such a good kick at goal. If he gets it within 40 metres, he's going to hurt you on the scoreboard and... Bernard Keeley and Jeremy Keeley always play well for Eden Hope, but yeah, it just wasn't enough in another big loss for the Saints boys. Yeah, and disappointing for their season. But I'll tell you what, no disappointment at Rainbow because Japara at Rainbow, the Storm, 1911-125, beat Carnival Lior, 7-8-50. And uh, if you reckon Koenig's 12 was a good effort, well then Warren's 11 out of 19 has to be seen. It is a really big win for Japara at Rainbow and sets your season up. Yeah, he's a star, Betty Warren. We're so lucky to have him over here. And but you could just tell in the first five minutes of the game, I reckon we had more smothers than we've had all year. So our pressure was on around the ball. And once the ball got on the outside, we were be able to work the ball really well into our forward line. And yeah, Ben got on the end of that and played really well. And for the Caniva boys, Hamish Bennett and um, Liam Vivian would be their first two picked every week. You can just tell they're really solid contributors for the footy club and watch them to keep getting in the best players as the season rolls on for Caniva. All right, let's take a look at the reserve grade then because uh, Caniva too good for your lads and they're having a good season in the reserves. There's 13 4 82 to Japara at Rainbow 6 4 40. Uh, albeit uh, you haven't had a very, very good start to the season at all for the Storm in this particular grade. But good on the Cougars. They certainly came out. Hawker is a good play. He booted five. He's played a lot of senior footy. Yeah, BJ Hawker looked very sharp in front of the goals again. And our boys were a lot better without having under-17 games. Those boys who step up were all a lot fresher, which gave the reserves boys a different look. But it still wasn't enough to uh, overcome a Canova team that looked like they'd have uh, players that have played a lot of senior footy. And there's some depth there if the coach wants to make a few changes in their senior team. Yep, that is for sure. Uh, there is a score on the 17s, but it was a scratch match, uh, which was great to see. And as you mentioned, uh, a lot of those um, older lads in the 17s go up and play reserves football. But down into the 14s, uh, Weary, and uh, well, I guess uh, they got to start a bit later, and I think the parents probably like that in a sense because it gives them a bit of an opportunity to uh, get to the ground and uh, have a bit of a look at what's going on rather than rushing like you do on a Saturday morning. But can I have a two good 9 8 62? to two points. Were the lads a bit surprised about that result in the 14s because they had been playing some good footy and had won their first match uh, in the, the league at just a week before? Yeah, well, I was out running water flow, man, so I got a really good look at the game and the scoreline really doesn't reflect how competitive it was and there's a good little bit of banter and spirit out there for the under-14 game and they did get off to a slow start but after that when they sort of got the game on their terms a little bit more they were quite impressive and none more so than Marcel Badua who's going to be a really good little player usually as a young dominant player you just try and do everything by yourself but you can see he's got a real good sense of the game and picks the right moments to get his teammates involved and he's going to be one to watch in the future. The two Zekerman boys have played well and it was Stasinowski, Clark and P. Gould in the other better players. L. Grant booted three for Canova Lior. Tink got a couple. Hiscock, also Saunders and Stimson were good players in the Cougar outfit. They'll be pleased um, as they're going along pretty well. Let's um, just, uh, as we uh, talk about that uh, junior competition, the uh, table does actually show that uh, Canova Lior are in fifth place and Japarit Rainbow down in ninth place. That competition is led by Rapania and Eden Dope Apsley, who at uh, the two edges of the competition, uh, one right up in the northeast, the other down in the southwest, are both Zix, Six and Zip to start the season in that grade. The 17 year old age group, the table has uh, Natty Muck United on the top, Six and Zip. The Swifts are Five and Zip, but then uh, down to the bottom of the table where you've got Japan Rainbow mid range at uh, sixth place, Three and Three. And uh, nice to see Eden Dope Apsley have got some percentage, just 0.26. 7%, not too much going right there for the Eden Ave Apsley boys. How do you see your lads at uh, midway on the table? They're weary. Oh, I think um, the under-17 boys have showed a lot of improvement and I think um, this junior footy we've spoken about so much before, Flo, man, it's just so important to these country clubs and it does fluctuate a little bit and teams have their runs and, for instance, there, it's good to see the Eden Hope under-14 boys providing a bit of a shining light for the 
footy club with our seniors and reserves struggling. So I think it's just important that each club um, provides a good environment for their juniors to come through and develop. And without the junior boys coming through, we won't have leagues and teams around. So it's such an important aspect of country footy. It is. And uh, what about the reserve grade? Naraja or Kwonsong, they're leading the seniors and the reserves at 6-0. and zero, And the Cow Key side are at 6-0 and zero in uh, their particular uh, grade in reserve. So um, bad luck there for the boys from Japan Rainbow. Zip and six on the bottom of the ladder, Weary. Yeah, it is a bit disappointing, but I think you need, and it shows good signs for Naradra, Kwantong and Cal Key because most teams who go on and play in senior grand finals and win premierships have a real squad of 40 that are contributing in every week. So the signs are there that Cal Key and Naradra, Kwantong are going to be two teams right at the pointy end of the ladder in both grades and it's um, yeah on the back of having really good depth and 40 committed players. Alright, let's look at the seniors competition and the premiership ladder has Naradua Kwantong 6-0 and zero at 24 points for Apanya but 24, they're going to be playing each other this next outing, it won't be this Saturday like it was promised, it will be maybe in three weeks time, we'll have a more of a talk about that in a moment the Keys in third at 20 Swifts 16, Japarit Rainbow 16, Harrow Balmoral, unbelievably in sixth place at 12 and clinging to that place. Natibak, 12. Eden Apsley, 8. Laharam, 8. Kaniva, Cougars, who I think are a bit better side than one win at four. And Taylor's late yet to open their account with Pimpanayo. And that is our Eden Apsley and Kaniva Leor Cougars. Look from Peter Weir, also including some Japan at Rainbow Storm for Horsham District Football. Our thoughts with everyone this weekend across the Horsham District not being able to play and hopefully back next Saturday, although maybe longer than that, we'll have a bit of a look at that as the week progresses.